Before we start, we should understand what is food security. Food security is achieved when all people at all times have physical and economic access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food. There are many challenges faced in Malaysia to achieve food security. Firstly, Malaysia relies on import to maintain the food in the country. Most foods such as rice and vegetables are mainly imported. For example, chilies are imported from Thailand. Secondly, the recent lockdown of COVID-19 disrupts the food supply chain. Farmers are not able to transport crops grown to the marketplace. This causes food deficiency in the community and large wastage of food. Furthermore, climate change such as unstable rainfall, heat waves, droughts, and floods cause low production of crops for food. We need to ensure that our country stays away from food insecurity in order to achieve food security. We will show you some methods to overcome all the challenges faced. Firstly, vertical farming is a farming method that doesn't rely on any soil, but it uses planting media such as perlite. It can also be done indoors, so it doesn't rely on the weather. It is a sustainable and environmental friendly method. It produces plants with high efficiency. Types of vertical farming include aquaponics, hydroponics, and aeroponics. IoT paired with vertical farming could make farming more efficient. It could be used for monitoring crops or livestock. It could also be used for fertilizer control, water control, and also pest control. It could be controlled either remotely or automatically. Temperature sensors, lighting systems, CCTVs, sprinkler systems, agriculture drones, and pH meters are examples of technology used in farming. Besides, drones are widely used in agriculture for spring fertilizers, area surveillance, and crop inspection. Here are some benefits of drones in agriculture. It includes alerting potential problems, reducing environmental impact, saving time, providing better data for research, and reducing labor shortage issues. Furthermore, organic fertilizers which are made of food waste, crop waste, and animal waste are widely used in agriculture. For example, fruit enzyme can be prepared at home by using fruit peels, brown sugar, and water. Organic fertilizers release nutrients to the soil to improve soil fertility and increase food production. Eggshell fertilizer, which is high in calcium carbonate, could help to reduce soil acidity. Eggshell fertilizer tea can also be used to control pests and encourage root growth. Another method to reduce pests and usage of chemicals in farming areas is biological control, the concept of natural predator. It could help reduce the destruction of crops by pests. This method is cost-efficient and environmentally friendly. Gamare is used in irrigation of food preservation. It uses high-energy electrons to kill, destroy, or inactivate bacteria and viruses that cause foodborne illness. This method is normally used in preserving fruits and vegetables as it doesn't affect or harm it. Collaborations between government and non-government organizations must be encouraged so that more research and investments could be made to achieve better food security. Examples such as the Ministry of Agriculture and Science, Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, Academy Science Malaysia, and Urban Hijau. As citizens of Malaysia, we could also play a part by donating extra food to food banks so that people in need will not have to face hunger. Example, food bank by the Ministry of Domestic Trade and Cost of Living and a non-government organization like Kachara Soup Kitchen. Let us all work together to achieve a better food security for all Malaysians.